Hey guys, it's December 16th in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I got drawn for a leftover cow oak tag. And I just left work about an hour ago. Just got down here, got the camper behind me. Can't see it, I guess. Just kind of doing a little bit of scouting, trying to find some tracks. We had a pretty good snow uh, last Friday. So uh, just kind of checking for some tracks in the snow while I'm headed to the area I plan to camp in. So far, I've seen a few not a bunch yet but I'm gonna go get the camper set up and then hopefully get out for about an hour of scouting this evening uh, before my season opens up tomorrow fingers crossed I can locate some tonight or else find some tomorrow I'll be solo hunting tomorrow uh, Allison will come up tomorrow when she gets off work that way I have a camera lady and a pack meal hopefully Well, it's a good start. I uh, just spotted a couple cows up here in this pretty rugged country. I've actually shot a cow out of this same spot three, four years ago. Me and Travis did, so sweet. First elk of the, of the trip so far, good sign. Home sweet home for the next few days. Maybe shorter than that. Knock on wood. Got the generator in the back. Camper all set up. Beautiful high spot scenery. Well, just doing some quick evening scouting here before it gets dark. On the other side of this big rugged mountain here, that's where the elk are at. That I spotted from the road on the other side of that. This is the side I have to access it from, so fingers crossed they'll be in there in the morning and park down at the base and hike up and over and hopefully they'll still be in there. I just wanted to check this side of the hillside to make sure there wasn't any other groups of elk over here. I didn't see any, so I'll back in the pickup and drive back down and around and see if they're still up there. Um, kind of just watch them until dark. Well, good news is they are still up in there and they are actually heading in the right direction to stay permanently on forest service rather than coming down into these flats um, where it's private. So I'm assuming they'll probably be up there again in the morning. Time will tell. I'm just going to set them out here and wait until it gets dark. Quite a few of them up in there. Pretty big group. Hopefully we can find them again in the morning. All right, it is the morning of December 17th. Just kind of got up to this high point by camp to kind of look over this ridge that the elk were on the other side of last night. I just wanted to make sure they didn't come on over and we're down here in this open flat. So it's been about 15 minutes class and didn't see anything. So I'm gonna hop in the pickup, drive up and around and try to get on the other side of that and take a look and hopefully they're on the other side and then I will make a game plan and hopefully sneak in on one. Snow is very crunchy, so I might have to wait a couple hours till this wind picks up. It's supposed to get up to like 15 mile an hour, about nine o'clock, so right now it's like four miles per hour. Pretty loud and crunchy. Stay tuned. All right, well, I came back over to the other side uh, where I watched them uh, last night till dark, and I don't see any of them. So either they're up on the very tip top of that ridge and they just can't see them or else they moved out of the area, which hopefully they did not move out, but they weren't skittish or anything. So hopefully they're just up on top and I just can't see them. I'm going to head back to the other side and lace up the boots and head up. So see if we can spot them. Well, had to 
cow elk came up at probably about 250 I think it was 240 I was down over here uh, right down there in those trees and I didn't have a shot once I got down with the tripod out I tried scooting forward a little bit and they took off up the hill so never did get a shot weren't too spooked or anything so hopefully they didn't go too far and who knows maybe the rest of the herd is still up here <sighs> it's a steep bugger almost to the top alright well I finally found them they are still up in here. Um, they're just in kind of two hard spots to get to with the way the wind's going and the way that this crunchy snow is. So, I'm gonna have to try to figure out a game plan here. I'd like to go after the ones that are up on that top, that flat spot, because it'd be a lot easier getting out of here. But I don't think I'll be able to get past the ones that are on that little knoll to get over to that other group that's on that flat so try to put together a game plan here and see if we can't get in on one of these old cows Well, that's kind of what I was afraid of. The wind was kind of swirling right here. And it was at 280, but the cows that were still up on top of here, they're behind a bunch of brush. Didn't give me a shot, so. They're not spooked, they're just a little further down the hill now. other group that was up on top they came across this flat meadow up on top of the ridge and they're bedded in some in the timber some in the meadow but if I get on the other side of this hill here I'll have my wind really good and I should be able to sneak in pretty close I think probably 200 yards so I think I'm gonna leave these ones over here be and try to go after this other group they're a little closer to the pickup not by much but
just got into position. Um, they're at 312 yards. I got the wind in my face. They have no idea I'm here, so I'm just going to wait for a good sized cow to stand up and give me a good broadside shot and hopefully make a good shot. So I'm just going to kind of camp out here on them until one presents itself. smoked her. <clears throat> I had that one at 328 yards and I shot over her and they didn't really know where it came from and they all got up and started running and kind of ran at me and I put the 100 yard crosshairs on her and dumped her but I wasn't quick enough to grab the camera to swing it over in time. Up, down. I wish I had a camera person with me or someone to help me pack this girl out of here. But... Woohoo! Let's go check her out. Alright. I kind of gave the herd a minute to kind of run off. There she is. Right there. Wish I could have got the camera swung around on her fast enough, but. It was either get it on film or get an elk, and I'll always choose to fill a tag, get some meat. But, made a good shot. Well, here she is. Big old girl. She is big. That wraps up my season. I'm gonna get this baby packed up and pack her out of here. Wish I had somebody to help me. <laughs> In tradition, even if you hunt by yourself, you still gotta take the shot, kill shots, so. Gotta get after it and get to work, so cheers. Well, just got her all broke down and loaded into the game bags. Strapped into my bag and the other three game bags are over there and then pine trees. Uh, I got about a half hour of light left before it gets dark, so uh, I'm gonna have to make the most of the light and haul ass out of here, and then come back in again tomorrow and grab the other bags. Sounds like the wife's gonna come up uh, tonight and say the night, and then we'll get the rest of the bags out tomorrow, so I uh, better get after it. Uh, we're just about out of here. 
about a half a mile down not another half a mile to go luckily pretty much all flat and then downhill so I just got done with the flat part almost here and then be cruising down that hill it's starting to snow a little bit so we got a little light left made it to the steep stuff now pickup is down there by the road so we got a little ways to go yeah. this is a big old cow she is heavy well I'd say it's my lucky day shot a cow elk and just stepped on a white and where's it at right there white elk shed in the snow as I'm packing this girl out. Woo! Should go buy a lottery ticket. All right, we just made her up to the top. Uh, coyotes didn't even get to the carcass, so that was a good thing. But we got two bags in this tree and two bags in that tree. So we'll get her loaded up and head on out of here. We are loaded up. I got hind quarter and front shoulder and some neck meat and Allison's got the other front shoulder, some neck meat and the back strap. So even though Allison's is a little awkward because the back straps froze pretty weird on the tree last night hanging. So, but we're headed out. Well, we made it to the pickup. It was a pretty tough pack out. Pretty rough trail we took, but we got down it. Thanks, sweetie, for coming to help me. 